a very refreshing morning to my dear students i hope everyone is in good health enjoying the healthy and nutritious food made by your super moms i am your own sangeeta rajdan ma'am dear students i have already sent you the study material question answers exercises and online videos of chapter 1 reproduction in plants hope you all must have gone through that these days you have lot of time at home so go through everything whatever is being sent watch the videos nicely and today i am here to just give a little explanation of the chapter the reproduction in plants in this chapter we will learn these topics how a new plant grows from seed seed and its parts how a seed germinates and what are the conditions that are necessary for germination dispersal of seeds how seeds get dispersed from one place to another and how new plants grow from other parts of the plant different crops arabian kharif crops and how to keep our crops and vegetables healthy i will discuss all these points in two different ppts right so today i will start we sow the seeds in the soil seed germinate and grow into a new plant now let me explain the seed and its parts all of you must have seen your mama soaking kidney beans that's rajma your favorite dish isn't it she soaks it in water before cooking do you know why because the outer cover of the rajma is very hard so to make it softer your mama soaks it before cooking the hard outer cover of the seed is called seed coat it protects the seed from the hard outer environment you know students you remember that you also wear a coat during winters isn't it why you wear the coat to protect from the harsh winter cold isn't it so the creator has also kept one seed coat right on the body of a seed so that it can protect it from the harsh outer environment the inner part of the seed that provides food to the baby plant is called cotyledon or seed leaf the seed there are two type of term, new terms now two new terms one is dicot seed and another is monocot seed the seed with one seed leaf is called monocot seed and the seed having two seed leaves is called dicot seed so let me explain it in a simple way 
If you take a pea seed in your hand and split it into a two equal halves, it's very easy. You can do it very easily. Just hold one pea seed in your hand, try to split it. Right? It is very easy to split it into two parts. You can see soft cotyledons on both sides, inner sides. Right? So example is P. P you can go for that and grams. Now, for monocot seeds, that means having one seed leaf. If we will do the same activity with rice or maize, it's impossible. We can't split maize or rice into two equal parts. So P is dicot seed and maize is monocot seed. Is it clear students now? Right? Now inside the seed leaf, there is an embryo which grows into a baby plant when germinates. This is the diagram of your um, seed and its part, the bean seed, dicot seed. You can take kidney bean, you can take any type of um, sort of bean. So the hard outer covering, you can see its seed coat right now. These two terms are more important for you. And the soft part which pro produces food for the baby plant, that is cotyleda. It's over here, right? The part from where the baby plant is grown, where from where the baby plant grows, that is radical. Then there is hypocotyle. And the last is epicotyl. Right? So this is your seed and its parts. Now let's move further. The seed coat protects the seeds. Right? I have already told you. The embryo consists of young shoot and root. Root. All of you know that root is always inside soil and shoot grows up. Food store has food for the young plant and food store is the cotyledon, right? Food store means cotyledon. It remains there till the time the plant is able to grow its own green leaves. Growing of new baby plant from seed is known as germination. All of us are aware about that, that when a new baby plant grows from a seed, we call it germination. Inside the seed is an embryo which is tiny plant, very small. The first shoot is known as radical, which is without leaves. First shoot which appears, that is radical, that's without leaves. And these cotyledons provide food to the radical because it's having no leaf at all. And without leaves, without food, nothing can grow, isn't it? And the newly grown leaves till the green leaves grow. The cotyledon provide food to the radical up to the time the green leaves grow. And the baby plant which still contains the cotyledons, which is still having the cotyledon, that is called a seedless, seedling. Sorry. It's seedling. And when it grows green, that means when green leaves start appearing, the cotyledon dry up and fall down because there is no need of cotyledon now. The plant is sufficient enough, it's capable to make their own food. All of you know that leaves, we call leaves as the mama of the plant, kitchen of the plant, chef of the plant. We have discussed it in the previous classes also. Right? Leaves prepare food for the plant in presence of carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and the most important thing, most important pigment which is present in green leaf. That is chlorophyll, a green coloring pigment that absorbs the sunlight, right, and makes food for the plant. Only green plant, green plants means plant having green leaf, have the capacity to do so. Now, there are stages of germination. Some factors are essential for the germination of seed. A seed requires sufficient air, water, warmth and nutrients to grow into a new plant. Air and water, you get it from the nature, 
warmth is also from the nature that is sunlight right sunlight the natural warmth all of us know that the sun provides heat and light to us so sunlight provides warmth to the plant and soil provides nutrients sometimes if soil is not nutrient enough we add nutrients to the soil we add manure we add fertilizers is it clear students when the seed get enough water and warmth it try to swell up the primary root and the young shoot come out and it grows into a new plant there is an activity on page number 9 in this activity you will observe the germination of seed under different conditions this is this is your homework dear students right now you are having lot of homework no class works we understand but this is the time we have to manage it like that only right so make good use of this time do this activity at home staying in the comfort of your home do this at home and there are one point that the conditions necessary for germination a plant produces large number of seeds but all seeds don't grow into plants every seed don't germinate because they need proper environment to grow it requires air warmth nutrients embryo the baby plant needs air to breathe and the hard coat is softened by water helping the embryo to grow out of the seed right the warmth makes the embryo active that results in the growth of new plants nutrients are needed for the growth of healthy plants so now we'll stop over here for rest of the chapter i will send one more audio right so that you can revise the chapter nicely hope you will listen to me thoroughly goodbye dear students stay healthy and stay safe